ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the potatoes on a mandolin. This is a Japanese mandolin, not to be confused with the French one. It's very easy to use. All we're going to do is slide the potato back and forth over this blade and you set it in the back by adjusting how high it allows this little piece to go. The lower it goes, the thicker the slice. Hand set it perfectly for my potatoes. So Hans is gonna cut my chips for me. It's real easy, you just run the potato right across the slicer. You just have to be sure you don't put your fingers in the path of the blade, that's all. Hands turn to the side so they can see what you're doing. Hans is gonna stop right here with this much potato left so she doesn't cut her fingers off. And you can see we have beautiful even slices of potato. They're a little less than an eighth of an inch thick. Any thinner and they'll burn. Any thicker and you won't get them crispy enough. So that's the Yukon Gold one. Hands will set that aside. Now hands will do a sweet potato one. The first couple slices are kind of like throwaway slices because they're gonna be too tiny to make actual real chips. So hands will just set those aside. See how easy that is? Stop when it feels like it's getting dangerous. That's what I told Hans last time to cut off her finger. Thank God it sewed back perfectly. Hans is gonna take out any pieces like this that aren't perfect all the way around because these will just burn. So we have some sweet potato chips and some Yukon gold chips. So Hans, now it's time to dry them off. Okay, so as you can see, show them Hans, the potatoes look very moist. Does anybody know what happens when you put moist potatoes into oil that's hot? Hands knows. Show them the scars. That's from when Hands decided to make potato chips and I wasn't here to tell her what to do. If you don't dry off the chips, it's gonna cause a little explosion when you put them in the hot oil because oil and water don't mix. And hot oil and water really don't mix. So we're gonna lay them out on a paper towel. Then we're gonna dry them off. As you can see, the sweet potatoes don't get as shiny. They really don't have as much moisture. But just as a precaution, we will make sure to pat these dry as well. They look great. So now we're ready to fry. So we're just gonna drop the potatoes in to the hot oil one by one. You want your fry oil to be around 375. When the oil is nice and hot, they cook real quick. So you just wanna make sure they're separated. If you see any like this that's stuck together, pull them apart. The important thing here is you just want them to drain. You don't want them sitting in all that oil. So if you see one that's got a little white spot, like this guy right here, that white spot's not gonna get crispy. Hand is gonna pop it back in for just a second. Time for the next round. But first, a little bit of salt. Hands, put some salt on those chips. So hands let the oil get hot again, and now we're gonna do the sweet potato. Same way. Load them in one at a time. <clears throat> Look at that. And don't forget the salt. Hands, let me have 
one of those chips. Hands, do you think I can eat this? Hands, break it up for me, come on. So here we see a big beautiful bowl of chips. You call it gold, it's sweet potato. Mm -mm. Hands, bring those over. So thanks for watching my show today, where we made chips. C-H-I-P, chips. And you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook,